Hey everybody, welcome back to the big board, etc. etc. We're looking at Ukraine 44, looking at wrapping up the gameplay here. And here's the current situation with one, two, th with three turns left, maybe, yeah, three turns left. Uh, we've got the Soviets in a situation where they've, they've, they're closing in. Uh, keep in mind there's no stacking here, so as we get tighter and tighter around uh, Kamenets here, that um, their ability to mass forces around the enemy will be restricted, but that's by the by. Uh, so <clears throat> we've got the Germans holding an arc uh, around this air supply base and this bridge, which is critical here, and they are yet to lose a victory city. Although up in the far corner up here, uh, Ternopol, Will, will probably fall next turn, uh, or the turn thereafter. And it, uh, more than happy at this point almost to uh, give up. Uh, boom, there goes the door banging. Uh, Berejani, here. Because uh, I get reinforcements in a turn or two, and once I get those reinforcements in, they can, they can try and meander down south. Let me just show you that section on the map, sorry. That door is great. Banging distracted me with the wind. Uh, so this town here is a VP city. If the Soviets pick up three VP cities, it's automatically game over. Don't see how that can happen, uh, given that uh, Stanis, Stanis uh, Lobov is behind the river here and well protected. These units have taken a little bit of a beating. They don't have a lot of mass. Uh, this armor cannot attack across the river. This is the only strong unit that can. And I've got enough uh, uh, fighting, uh, effective fighting power. I've got this guy, which is a 14 defense, uh, to hold off there for quite a while. You would need a retreat result on a one-to-one uh, -to, -one to really make, uh, make a significant difference. And you're not going to get a one-to-one. -one. You're not going to get a six on a one-to-one -one coming across the river. So, because of the, there's DRMs. So that, this area, I can't see this city falling, so I don't know that it's possible to pick up an automatic victory. Chernovsky would think, yeah, uh, would be, uh, you know, relatively easy to pick that up. Unfortunately, we're down to one really combat effective core, armored core down here, and three other divisions. I'm gonna to need to divert some forces around, and even with strategic movement, you know, trying to bring some extra stuff in here. Uh, <clears throat> even with strategic movement, it is, it's proving to be a, a hard task. All of these divisions here have between two, uh, well, yeah, between two and three step losses. They're still relatively effective as a defensive fighting force. And I don't know that this, this combination of units here can, can get through and make that the, the automatic victory three. So what does that mean? That means that it really it's gonna come down to victory point accumulation, and we accumulate victory points, one for every step lost. Uh, Soviets get two for every mobile or mech uh, uh, step lost. And what else? Units across the river, mech uh, unit steps across the river is a VP for the Germans. And uh, I think that's it. There might be a couple of little things. So I you know, did the math and looked, added up all the points currently accumulated by both, both sides. And it's funny, and when you look at the game, you think, well, gee, you know, the Germans are really doing okay. Well, just on uh, step losses, because of the two-point two loss here, uh, we, have a, uh, we have a situation where the... Let's see, where the Soviets have, I'm going to add that number, the Soviets have lost 68 points total, and the Germans have lost 78 total. Now, if I took the current, I took uh, the incremental losses that will, will uh, the, the additional points that would be accumulated for uh, acquiring these cities, these two cities, and for the Germans keeping forces across the river, it would come down to being 119 versus 96. So 119 VPs for the Germans, 96 for the Soviets. 
I'm calling that a draw, right? Because, you know, there's, without a doubt, certainly more German steps will be lost here. And that's a that's a, a swing for the Germans too, because it's two points to the Soviets, and you for each one you lose, that's a point you can't pick up for being north of the river, uh, as I mentioned earlier on. So, so roughly a wash, I think. Uh, if we play this out another turn or two, there's one, two, three, four more divisions of Germ of German forces that come in. There's a, tw oh wow, okay, so 9th Panzer, there's a 1221, a 6-6, six, six, another 1221, that's 10th Panzer, and a 3-8. Yeah, so those, those forces, if I could get those guys, you know, both of those guys across the river, it's going to be an easy pickup for the, for the, for the uh, Germans to pick up an extra 40-ish uh, points. They arrive on the, the second last turn, they get a mech move. They, could, they arrive on the northern side of the river anyway, right, up here. So they're automatically in victory point territory, and they would be in supply. I would need to get them across this river. I need, would need them to have a supply line, I think, coming to the south is the way it works. Uh, so, you know, uh, all in all, it was a, a fun exercise. I enjoyed uh, playing the game. I would love to play this opposed. I think it's going to be a lot of fun opposed, given that you... Don't forget, you're playing with these units all face face up like this, so they're unknown to uh, to either side. Well, they're unknown to the opponent, I should say. Obviously, the owner was allowed to look at them. All right, that's my last commentary on this. I'm not going to go through and do a review or or a, you know first play impressions or anything like that. I think I've I've shared quite a bit of content on this, and it stands for itself. It's a worthwhile exercise to purchase the game for twenty to twenty four dollars. Play it two or three times, solo or opposed, or four times, or however many times you think it's you need to play it and enjoy it. And then you could flip it for ten. So that means for twelve to fourteen dollars, you just got an awesome uh, an awesome um, return on your gameplay investment on a topic that is not covered particularly well or uh, uh, comprehensively other than some some larger titles I know like the OCS title. So uh, there we go. thought I'd share this with you and we'll look forward to catching up with you soon with some new content. Ciao.